Welcome to Riviera. Yeah, I guess. The promised land. With me, Nag, friend of advice, and... Passion Dragon? Yes, Shevin free, Shevin free, Shevin. So yeah, we're gonna start the game. I'm gonna let this run again, but, you know. As God, realm of the gods, Utgard, land of the demons, Ragnarok, a war between the gods and the demons, invaders. Cast the world into a state of violent chaos. I pressed A last time, so, yeah. Overrun by demons. Asgard teeter on the brink of destruction. Hopefully this won't be as long as the previous introduction. And I do. It won't, will it? Uh, I hope it won't. Hmm. <laughs> I hope so. In desperation, the gods broke the ancient covenant and created the black-winged grim angels. Each armed with a diviner, the angels descended to battle. The battle raged on, but through their valiant efforts, the angels brought an end to the war. It's basically just recapping what we've done. The demons were sealed away, but the gods would soon follow. Because, you know, something, something? Leaving their power behind in the heavenly Isle of Riviera. The gods entrusted the land's inhabitants to watch over it until their return. I thought the gods were Riviera. Huh. Now I'm confuzzled. One thousand years passed quietly. The night day. It's been a thousand years. Maybe. Maybe? Oh, not again. The signs of the demon's return were ruined throughout Riviera. Seven Magi, proxies of the gods, made a difficult decision for the sake of Asgard's continued existence. Oh, call in the Ghostbusters? I'd have done that. To activate the divine power of destruction, the retribution. And that wasn't in the prologue. The Magi appointed this task to beings well suited for the job. Elves? And our two angels shall descend to the sacred soul of Riviera. So, chapter one. Angelic Advent. I have to whisper. to be a man or a woman. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do that voice. Lida. Riviera should just be beyond Heaven's Gate. Pain. Riviera. Lida. Everything must seem new to you. Just stay out of my way. Uh, I'm angry. <laughs> What's that? Enemy encounter. Rose. It's a talking kitten? Should I do that? Kitty, yes. Thank you. Mm -mm. 
that horrible scent. Ian, those are demons. Demons? It can't be. <sighs> I didn't expect to encounter demons here. Damn you, Wallachia are like. So be it. We'll simply have to use our diviners. The weapons used by Grim Angels, right? Yes. Mine is the Spear of Lorelei. And mine is the Sword. It. Damn it. In here, Sha. Two powerful weapons. Now let's go in. Fight. So I have to pick which items I use in battle. That's right, up to four. You only have two now. So four items isn't very many. Remember, you can't use items you haven't selected. Got it. I better choose carefully then. Don't fall behind. Let's go. Give me the sword. Uh, fine. Let's do this thing. Mm. Ian, you haven't forgotten how to fight, right? Select an item and then press the A button, right? Let's run a basic. Don't forget it. So let's see. Caught you, caught you. Yay for the sparkly wingman. Caught you. Why must you hurt me so? We've wasted too much time. We must hurry. <laughs> Damn you, Wallachia. That's rubble cheer from Melty Blood, you can't lie. Triumph! That's a fire, just with wings and fancier hair. Hmm? The enemy dropped something. What is it? A bottle? What's inside? It's a potion. It restores health. Is that you? How lucky. Poor. Oh. Just don't waste any items you find. I'll be essential to an amateur like you. You're right. I use them sparingly. Oh, by the way. You can check your items by pressing select. I see. Select, huh? I remember that. See, that's pretty much the end of the first. <laughs> Actually, fun. Why it has the fire, even though not the fire, a talking cat, and super weapons. Mm. Exactly, that's why a talking cat is more than worth enough. See you in a bit. And of course, if you want Riviera to continue, just say, and we shall. Merry Christmas, SpongeTooth. This is your present. Thank you. Talking.